in many ways I was grown up with the rope factory. When I was a small kid, I was joining my father. When I grow up, I said, I will never start working in rope factories. And here I am, 27 years later. So if you are asking small children what you will do in the future, uh, no one will say, I will uh, produce uh, ropes. <laughs> Does the perfect rope exist? Uh, I think nothing is perfect. In the rope business, we want definitely to be experts. Uh, we are experts. <laughs> we are in uh, Slovakia, in the Tim Rope Factory, owned by Wilhelmsen. Why is it here? It's a really good question. In a land with no coast, uh, quite unique. There is a historically very strong relation and knowledge of the textile industry. It's a very competitive business. No, the factory is not here to save the money. It was an argument maybe 15 years ago. The differences are getting smaller and through the time we have built up our own knowledge. First step is the significant incoming inspection. Based on the strength of the raw material, we know how the results of the entrope will be. Now after that, no matter what construction or rope are doing, you only always need to follow this basic five steps, which is uh, twisting of the yarn, after that is stranding, braiding, cover braiding, and splicing at the end. So even if it's thin on huge rope, no matter what, you need to follow those steps. What is mo more important, machines or people? Absolutely people. I promise you that if you are putting different people on the same machine, you will get a different result. You can take some very good strong fibers and produce a really bad ropes. So there is a lot of knowledge that you need to take into the consideration. Can you get the same product from China cheaper? Uh, definitely there will be a change in uh, service in uh, the product itself. Rope is just part of the package. So the ropes need to cooperate with the winches and the mooring equipment on board. How does the vessel actually look? How does the mooring equipment on board the vessel look? In which port will it be used? In which terminal? What you really want is something which is lasting long, giving you the safety, take care of the crew, which you can really trust. You change the rope so quickly, it generates a lot of waste. The perfect rope is what fills its application demanding, but the responsibility is there if you are part of the, something bigger. We have partnership with universities, fiber manufacturer, we have good relationship with, and of course we have our customers. To make it both easy for them and safe for them. So that is human-centered design. It's about the feeling, thanks to our work, vessels all around the world can safely move. Every new improvement, we are pushing us forward, but we are pushing the industry forward as well. I'm quite proud of actually when I meet the people. Some people have been here nearly from day one. They love to go to work and that's um, also motivating of course me.